Hello and welcome back to City Skylines Better Cities and in today's episode we're going to continue working on the innovation slash smart district right here and as you might have noticed the shape of the lake has changed into something more natural and more interesting and here's what we're going to do we have this um, metro station elevated metro station beautiful work of art metro station set up over here then we're going to have offices uh, by the road over here a park around the lake and on this side we're gonna have plenty of residential and then here we're gonna have commercial street and another commercial street is gonna be right here the rest of it is gonna be residential and public space so uh, let's start building and see how that works out so what I'm planning for this area is to make a commercial street or actually two commercial streets one of them is going to be on this side both of them are going to be pedestrian commercial streets and on this side we're going to have some of the buildings that I will plop in and half of them will be zoned on the other side we're going to have complete zoning and um, on either side thing that we want to avoid is having any buildings with parking spaces or anything like electric charging because we're not going to need that we're not going to have any cars on there except for the service vehicles and on this side we're going to have office spaces that are also going to be zoned and a couple of unique buildings to make this area stand out and to establish this innovation smart district kind of theme and um the office buildings are not going to be the regular your office buildings they will be the it cluster smart high-tech buildings to make this area look really fancy and high-tech and developed and insert whatever phrase you want to put into this and uh, as you can see I've changed the shape of the lake to make this area look more natural and to make it look more like a park and the idea is that the park is going to connect these different areas is going to connect office commercial residential all together and make it one unified kind of area and um, one of the key points for this area is the transportation so apart from the metro station on this side we are also going to have some other modes of transportation we have the bicycle path and we are also going to add some other options i'm thinking to put in some uh, buses or maybe trolley buses and maybe a BRT line but there is not really a suitable space for it because we want this area to be walkable we don't want really to have any kind of access transport inside the area uh, it's going to be more like on either side of this district and we have this wide road um, that we need to really move around a little bit we have trams on this one the other one has the metro and I think the trolley bus if we do it will probably go on the other side and maybe we can add in something else i don't know the monorail would be a really nice addition but it just makes so much noise so that will be probably in conflict with the whole idea of this quiet relaxing smart innovation district let's start plopping some commercial i think these buildings from the uh, modern city center pack are a really nice addition to this area and the opposite side is going to be zoned so we might need to remove a couple of buildings if they turn out to be not what I wanted or if they have any kind of parking because we're not going to need it right here since we have only the pedestrian road we don't really want to see any other vehicles on here and I think this uh, commercial building must be facing the other way around maybe um let's try let's try to yeah i think we're gonna scrap the whole thing and just put it and make it face the other way around and that will be so much better that will be absolutely well maybe not absolutely but almost perfect for this area and the other thing that we'll need to add in here is plenty of pedestrian and bicycle path and i'm thinking to add some pedestrian roads as well and the idea is that when you come to the area you can be driving but it's eventually you have to switch to either walking or cycling and that will make this area a much more comfortable place for our sims to hang out and the other part of it is of course 
the green and public space so we'll plant plenty of trees bushes flowers whatever we can add to it to make this area really nice and comfortable for people to hang out and the residential areas are going to be surrounding the um, lake I think we can call it a lake the residential areas will be surrounding this lake and the idea is that residential is going to be on one side commercial is going to be on two sides like either side of the residential and the office is going to be right opposite because it's probably one of the noisiest things we built here and the park is going to serve as the connection between these areas and right here near one of our unique buildings we're going to place a street cafe and a couple of places for people to hang out and if that turns out really nice i think we're going to add it in some other areas around the park as well and so far it looks okay yeah and we have the starbucks building we have these street cafes it's looking fine and the only problem i have is with the trees i don't think they are placed properly let's just do it all over again and make it look really nice i think we need some smaller trees for this area uh yeah now it just it looks so much better and we have plenty of unique buildings from i think uh what was the name i'm trying to remember the name uh um, I'll, I'll include a link in the description probably or maybe i won't but anyway i use plenty of the buildings from this creator absolutely beautiful and on this side let's try to figure out what can we add in here i was thinking to put this uh curb networks but i don't know it just looks a little bit weird i think this area you know sometimes it's it's just so much better to keep something simple not over complicated and just make sure that you don't you don't do anything over the top just leave it as it is sometimes you know planting a couple of trees is so much better than um jumping over your head and trying to make something complex that eventually turns out looking like crap basically and that is probably exactly what is happening in this area i'm not quite sure yeah we're just going to remove a couple of things and just leave it as it is. And I'm also thinking to add uh, something on this side. It might be a park or maybe, maybe we can add another um, mode of transportation. Maybe we can add an intercity bus terminal. Uh, but before we do that, we need to remove this road. I think it can go underground. A tunnel is not going to do any bad for this area. In fact, it's going to just clear up some space and give us more room to uh, play with this area so let's just let's do just that and then we'll see what else can we fit inside this area yeah this tunnel is looking kind of okay the only problem with this 12 lane road uh, that has a tram on it is that the segments are really really short so when you try to adjust it with moving mode it just often it just comes out looking quite funny <laughs> so yeah you have to really spend plenty of time to make it look are normal and we're gonna place a smaller road and probably put a park let's just put a park in for now and later on we'll see whether or not we're gonna add any kind of uh, bus or other terminal for the transport and let's see what else are we missing I think we can start adding the path and roads and we're gonna use pedestrian roads and what I'm thinking is to add a really nice looking pedestrian road and we're gonna also have a road for the cars that they can come into the area and then you have to switch into either walking or using your bicycle that would be really nice on this side we're gonna have only the pedestrian road because it connects to the commercial pedestrian street that makes a lot of sense you just walk through the area to your house but on the other side we're gonna have the access for the cars I think yeah we're gonna use this Dutch road to um, give some room for the cars yeah that's that's much better with the trees and once you come into the area you can switch to other mode of transportation now the other thing that i'm keeping in mind is that i don't really want to go with the boring grid layout what i want to have in this area is more or less um organic weird quirky looking kind of pattern for the roads but at the same time we have to keep in mind that if we zone the buildings and that's the only way to get the eco sustainable buildings uh, we will need to leave enough room to fit in 
are high density, high rise residential buildings. So I'm thinking uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, funny looking road layout and then we're not going to zone the entire area with a brush. What we're going to do is select the areas where we can place properly sized buildings and only use those areas so that we'll leave enough room between the buildings. The buildings themselves are going to be properly sized and um, they will be looking fine and then we can also add some extra pedestrian path or some extra trees and bushes to make the area look really nice and sustainable sufficient sophisticated whatever word you like for that and um, this area is also going to be a park area and i don't really care about all the income from the park entrances all i care about is that the um citizens enjoy walking through the park and that the park serves as a connection between all of these different areas and yeah we also might need to add some entrances and pedestrian path and i think later on we might as well add the uh pathways that go um like bypass the entrances because it doesn't really matter whether or not it makes the um income from people walking through it really matters that the area is going to be going to be community park an area that's accessible to everybody and later on we're also going to add some nice things but for now i think we're going to stop at this and the rest of it is going to be part three or maybe part four we'll see later on um yeah i think the area is looking really nice and um, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye